I'm knackered from running down them stairs. Well, it's finally here. The scroller box. Uh, what in a month are we on? September. <laughs> it's got an elastic band round for some reason, but we'll take that off and we'll get into it. Oh my, this looks very interesting. So it looks like we have some markers here. We have the zine. Ah, uh, yes, you can see it. The, the paint marker texture. Oh, look at this. Oh, this print is gorgeous. That is going up on my wall for sure. Brianna Smith, I think the artist is. Very nice. And then we have some A5 Bristol board. I like this design on the front. It's quite fancy, isn't it? So we've got 10 sheets of 200 GSM acid free paper. So let's have a look at the main thing. The main supply. I, to... I never say this because I should just rip it off. There we go. Oh, this has to be my favourite sticker so far from this year. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a fruit salad suite now. This, I used to enjoy this, I know, shock to everyone because I don't like sweets, but I won't be having it, um, no. <laughs> we also have a Unipin fine liner in 0.9, I have got a lot of Unipin fine liners, I ordered them from Amazon I think, yeah. So we have a Derwent sketching pencil, gotta love a British brand. Oh my, Frisk! I think I saw this on the Instagram. They've come out with new markers. 12 acrylic markers, water-based, highly pigmented, vibrant, ideal for many surfaces, paper, canvas, fabric and much more. And it provides, I'm guessing, in the colours that are in this set and obviously instructions on how to use them. Right, so before I crack, <laughs> oh my gosh, before I crack in to this, I'll have a look through the zine. All right, so we're on to the zine. Let's have a look through it. So these are the list of supplies and markers and things. Where's the back of? There it is. So if you want to see and read more about the supplies and how much they cost, you just scan this little barcode right there. This is the artist, Brianna. And these are some of her, her artworks. We might have to do an animal for this illustration. Things to try, so we've got some tips and tricks, which I will be trying out. Behind the artwork, I love this section that they've added into it, but that is absolutely gorgeous. And we have a zine. Is there anybody that I know? in here. Oh my god! I'm in it! Oh, Little Echo finally made it into an art magazine thing. He's famous now. <laughs> well, that's a nice surprise. Who else can I see in here? Ooh! Lady uh, Doodlebug is in there. It's kind of like a Stranger Things tribute, isn't it? Anybody else? Nope, I don't think so. And then these are the top three. Nice little cat there. And another one. We have a Rapunzel sort of illustration. And then... I think that's a Stonehenge, I think. I could be wrong. And then we have a little bit about Animal Kingdom. And the scroller challenge for this month is claws and paws. Pretty good. All right, let's test these supplies. I'm super excited to get into these. Always love a new good product. Let's take that sticky bit off. They actually come in the container to keep them nice and still. Wow, love those colors. They're kind of like every other standard marker, like in the barrels kind of thing, so you can see them. I will act 
activate those so you don't have to watch me do it. Oh, I love the feel of this paper. I love how Scrawler Box um, like to support British uh, brands, it's very nice. It's quite thick as well. Right, let's test the pen first. Uni, okay. Yeah, just like every other uni pin that I have owned. <laughs> and then the Derwent Sketching Pencil 2B, which is my favourite sketching pencil. Gotta love it. And then the markers. So I'll be back once I've activated. Right, they're finally. <laughs> They're finally activated. It took a while, but they are done. Wait a minute. I'm going to just look at the back of it. Yeah, so it has the colours. So this is red. And then I'll do a square because I'm going to try and like layer some of the other colours on that. We have a nice pinky colour. I'm not usually really good with acrylic markers. I always kind of make them look streaky. So I'm hoping I'll do a lot better. If anyone has any tips with these, please leave them in the comments down below. This is a medium that I often, well, hardly ever use really. But if I can get something as good as what that um, Brianna did, I'll be very happy. I wonder if it's normal for paint markers to come up or like peel. Some of them I guess, some of them. Uh, oh I like that blue. Very nice. Masha, blue is a good colour. Blue, blue, blue. And we have silver. I'm going to do silver and, and gold probably all together. Love a good sparkle. Gold and silver always remind me of Christmas because we used to write on the Christmas tags. We used to write on the Christmas tags with bold. Uh, oh my gosh, my brain cannot multitask. Yeah, with a gold pen and silver pen. So that's where it, where it reminds me of Christmas. Mm, obviously there's a white. But oh yeah, the white shows up on this paper really good. I was not expecting that. Kind of like creamy-ish. And then there's the green. Obviously the last one is brown. Alright, so they are all the colours swatched. I'm going to look in the zine actually and it tells you tips and tricks. So I'm going to have a look at that. Things to try. Layer on thick. Alright, so they offer stick length. There's like a square. You can actually fill large areas with this really well. They have a stippling technique. I love stippling but <laughs> boy does it take a long time. Oh that's very nice, I like that. Oh, it goes over the pink. So stippling is a really good one. What about let it drip? Alright okay so that's a good one. I might use yellow for this. I'm not sure if you meant to do like that big blob. You guys will see this in a bit. That's it dripped. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I imagine that you can use these with watercolour as well. I think. So I'm going to test that with this green. So I'm going to fill this square in as normal. I'm going to take a pink brush. And... Oh, oh, dropping things. I'm going to use an art as a paintbrush. And I'm going to see. It's not too bad, is it, really? Obviously this paper is not for watercolour, but I like that effect. It's really cool. So we can use water. I want to experiment with layering over darker colours. Oh. Let's pretend this is a night sky. I'm not sure how I'm going to colour this quickly. You know, there's one thing that I wished um, acrylic markers would have, and that is definitely to be already activated but I don't think that is an option because they'll probably dry out won't they I'm not too sure how that works all right so this 
is the Night Sky. I actually think these markers are probably the best acrylic markers. Maybe better than, I know this might be a really big thing, but better than Posca's. I've never really got along with Posca's. I imagine we're supposed to let that dry, so I think we'll do a little bit of thumbnailing for some animals. Claws and paws. Claws and paws. Claws and paws. I'm re re repeating myself. Give me a second. Animals. Animals. So let's draw the square. Let's draw three squares actually. And let's have a look what we could do. I really really like... Pinterest is filled with cats and I don't know why because I've not been googling cats. <laughs> Maybe try a little raccoon or something. They're always interesting. Do do do. I like this, this pencil, it's actually really, really good. So this is going to be a raccoon and a fluffy tail. It's going to be like, because I love the ego that she's done. So I might do something like that, maybe. I am going to be doing the challenge on... I'm going to do it for a live stream again, because that was always so fun doing it, it live with you lot. And then you guys can do it with me if you do have your scroller box. So we have a raccoon, so I like that. I'm not sure whether to... Oh, it's really difficult because I kind of like what she's done with the nice little waves that she um, did there. It'd be nice to draw a bird or an eagle as well. That would always be fun. So we could have a raven probably here, so a circle that then highlights the eagle. I've drawn a parrot beak for it. Whoops. It is not a parrot, it's an eagle. And then the big eyeball. Because those eagles have claws, which is why, why we would draw one of those. Because that white would w r work really nice with the moon because it's like a creamy white and the moon is also creamy white. A bit of stars in there. So I want to test out this white above the. Um, oh, I love this. Okay, let's do. That's layering over there very, very nicely. I feel like I should do a dog because I love dogs, which would suit paws, you know? So we could also have two characters. Two characters. Possibly an owl, because that would suit the claws. We could have an owl. I've drawn the beak really weirdly, but that's okay. So we could have an owl. I kind of want them interacting with each other, but it'll be in a lot better way. But I don't want it to be too much work either. We just need a dog. I could do my robot dog, which would be funny. You can see it's paws. <laughs> Maybe we do want a mask on it. Something like that. I'm not sure, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that is the scroller box for this month. I'm gonna go live and do the challenge live. I just need to figure out when the best time would be because 7 p.m. at night now is not great because the lighting is terrible. <laughs> So I'm going to have to, oh I haven't test this pen over this, that's what I needed to do. Yep, the pen works great over there, what about the pencil? Mm, not so much. So yeah, I will probably go, I really want to go live like in the week, earlier, earlier on in the day, but then Saturday kind of feels like a good day to do it. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Comment down below what you think of this box. And I'll see you next time. Probably on Saturday for a special video. And yeah. Subscribe for more. Okay, bye-bye.